they've got it right and over the years they've right. got it very wrong. The fact that the British react differently, I think, is a cultural issue. Um, I mean, I, I well remember, that, you know, the, um, where uh, they were trying to protect their uh, their cuisine and so on, and a, and a farmer turned up at one of these multinational you go outlets on. with a lorry load of, of manure and just tipped it uh. in the front office. I mean, they, they've got a pretty long record across a quite, quite a diverse part mm. of their society of protecting their own way of life. Turn right at the traffic light. Has been brought to a standstill. And the only one I could think of was in 2001 during that fuel dispute where um, half the country's petrol stations didn't have petrol. And I can remember going from pet. Uh, it was possibly going to affect my business because we, we were selling books at all the different party conferences and we couldn't actually get our books there and I was thinking that this country's gone mad how can this be that to happen and yet in France it seems to happen well very regularly oh I think uh, I, I, I perhaps because I'm a bit older than you obviously I mean I can remember uh, the oil shakes and the oil industry bringing the fucking petrol nuts. garages to their knees a lot more fucking where's the, the cycle fucking lane but, um, in terms of uh, the issue in France I mean look this isn't just like we woke up one morning and decided, oh, wouldn't it be a jolly good idea to go out and work on the streets? Fucking oh, idiots! You know, it's a serious issue. Um, I think it was a recent poll that the French public opposed. Oh, fucking way, can he? A million people signed a petition. They've got days of rallies, nights of rallies. They've gone through a whole raft of protests. The difference is, and this is where I think... Turn right onto Brisket Road, then take the first left. Protesting. This is people who have never, not in a trade union, protesting. Uh, and there have been many scenes in London. I mean, you know, don't even cast your mind back to the poll tax rights. You push people so far, whatever that line is, in whatever culture it is, you push them too far and you will get that reaction. I mean, you know, I mean, it is a pretty awful scene there at the moment. Well, and you have to thing. say, at the end of the they're day, coppers, it does lay down bricks. square with the French government. They're, they're not, they're, they're, you know, they're the ones that are changing the, the status quo. Why, why do you think it is, though, that the, the French seem to value their sort of work-life balance far more than we do? I, I read the other day there's a suggestion there should be a law that bans employers from emailing their workforce outside working hours. There's apparently regulations against people working through their lunch hours and eating at their, their desks. I mean, in, in this country, that would be unthinkable. I, I, I've never heard of that. Um, I, I haven't worked in France, so I can't really, I can't really comment on that. But um, there's always been, you know, a pretty clear, whichever, where, whenever you go to France, whether it's holidaying or, or for work or business purposes, you're always pretty aware uh, that the French do take it 